Hello. Evening, folks. Whoever's there? Anybody? Hello. Good evening. Welcome back to your usual Sunday night vape lounge. As you can see, it's just me here right now. The other, the other host is running a tad late. He's having a wardrobe malfunction, I think. <laughs> broken. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be like him, would it? No. No, of course not. Yes. But yes, I am. I'm very much here. Hi, Gail. How are you, babes? How is everybody else this evening? Hello, Darren. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, uh, Roy will be with us presently. We're just waiting on him. I'm just like a rabbit in the headlights right now. So, you know. Get your burn screens ready. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, everybody in chat, because of the love of God, speak. I don't bite, really. He might. You know, he might. I don't, but he might. What, no comment? No, I'm waiting to see if this comes up on what everybody reacts to. Wow. <laughs> well, I bet there's something you weren't expecting tonight, guys and girls. Hi, Village. Yay, village. <laughs> wow. Oh my lord. Wow. Doesn't he Hello. look a treat? Wow. Um. Don't worry, we're selling the party's party thing. Hiya, Gail. Hiya, village. Hey, village. Hey, Gail. Uh, um. Uh. Do you want to uh, explain? No. Well, the sort of explaining is called He's mad. just feeling pretty tonight. Widow <laughs> 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 wanking. Hey, Jay. <laughs> hey, Jay. Hiya, John. Hey, John. <laughs> hey, Jude. Hey, John. Hey, Jude. Hey, Jude. Hi. <laughs> wow. Oh, you don't mind me asking, what the hell possessed you? I have no idea, just thought I'd do something Just to cheer Random? everyone up, because everyone seems to be a little bit down nowadays. Yeah, so everybody does. Just thought we'd give everyone a wee giggle. Nobody seems to want to have a giggle these days and have a bit of a laugh and everything's too serious. I just thought, what the heck? <laughs> wow. That's uh -oh. so funny. Doesn't he sit it? Do though? I sit it though? He really does. Yes, you certainly get the pens for him. Hang on. Do you know what? He sits it better than I do. Oh my god, I am. Oh my good lord. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, Zan's in the troll. <laughs> Zan's in the troll, you know. Zan Zan's just in. Uh, wait, I seen this in Gail's mic when I was passing by, so I had to come in and troll the fuck out of you. So. I do not know what you put in that fit wait, tonight. I've seen the Gail's. <laughs> I was right now and David. Yep, I sure have. Oh, oh, you've caught the you've caught the doggy's attention. I know. <laughs> what? The doggy. What doggy? I missed it. <laughs> so folks. Dog, so no, 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 please don't. No, please don't. Hi, <laughs> Hi Chris. <laughs> what the <laughs> Yeah. Casey, trust me, you do not want to know. What I'm wearing is this. And look, I can do that pose too. <laughs> Jay's coming. <laughs> to be honest, that is one hell of a challenge. <laughs> oh my god! Sorry, Jay. <laughs> Hiya, TC. <laughs> the TC's eyes are burning. <laughs> I can oh, film wow. the walls now. Uh, but, really? <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I've got. I've got. 
One, two, three, no, no, four. no, 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 just sit, sit down. Too many just... balls, too many. Yes, too many balls to play with. Look, you just can't put balls up to you. <gasps> wow. <laughs> just. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. It look Harlequin esque. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's a heartbreaker, it. Harlequin. Mind bleach for those badly affected for this, for this show. Sit in your arsenal. <laughs> It's not impossible. <laughs> oh, village. Seen that before you retracted it. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. So. I just, you, you just, I'm in shock. I really am. Folks, I called Bunny at about quarter to eight there for the show. For the show. Do you know that it was about one minute to eight before I actually got a word out of her? Because I was pissing myself laughing. <laughs> That's so disturbing. Wow. <laughs> Michelle, why did you let him do this? I don't even know. I don't know. How was her idea, TC? I kind of planted a little seed. Because we were, I don't know, doing something. And he found my costume. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that costume from Halloween. I was getting clothes and then, out this morning and, then, and it was there. And she's like, and then she's bought chalk for the kids hair for they've got a mad day on friday they can go to school with crazy hair crazy hair and stuff so we only <laughs> put chalk on my hair and i thought well why not put the wig on then i thought well if i'm putting the wig on i might as well put everything else i just forgot i came with them leggings to be fair i'm not setting the whole stream like this tc don't worry oh dear i'm what just trying gonna... to figure out where i'm going to get changed that without being in camera how are you going to get out of that quite easily <laughs> i already had it on once because i had a t-shirt on underneath it and took the t-shirt off oh. <laughs> The thing about it is, I want to know how the heck this fit at Michelle because it is tight across my chest. I had it over a jacket. It was actually quite big. Like I had it yeah, but you're tiny. And the tights are True. absolutely. How do you use girls wear tights? I love wearing leggings and tights. They're not leggings. Those are tights. Look how. Look. Yeah, they are more like tights. They're tights with no. Look. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just at a loss for words. I really am. I think a lot of people in shower as well. Turn your yeah, I think mic so. Off and get changed, please. Don't let those people. <laughs> the children sure. absolutely love seeing me like this. They think it's hilarious. Yeah. I'm worried about. T C. The kids have already seen it. They're wetting themselves too. Yeah. I'm worried about Halloween now. They might look better in costumes than me. They wanted. They wanted me to put the makeup and everything on, but didn't have time. I would have put the makeup on if I had the time. If the clocks hadn't gone bloody forward, come on. It's all about. Should have used that hour. Put your yeah. makeup on. So. I'm gonna go sit and talk to them and sleep over here and get out of this game roast. <laughs> wow. That's yeah, just Yes. Kinda. Of. Wow. Of. Wow. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh no. Don't go over there naked. <laughs> oh dear. Wow. So how's everyone's weekends been? <laughs> Good. You would know, considering we were with you not three hours ago. I know, that was fun. Were we? I quite enjoyed was it. Was she the wee hobbit? Yeah, she was the hobbit. Alright, I didn't know it was her. Yeah. Oh, who, anyway, he's he's exhausted after throwing the kids about. Oh no. Oh, they had a, such a great time. They were like all nearly falling asleep in the car on the way back. It was great. Peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. I can fill up my toaster now again. Wait, all of my toaster? What? Did you get all of my toaster? Yeah. That's because you put mindbleach.com on. <laughs> mindbleach.com. There we go. Normal service has resumed. There we go. It's Aladdin. Yeah. So, Bonnie, what are you mm -hmm. doing? At the minute, I've got the uh, G class and the drop dead with the the last of my peaches and cream in there. Uh, I've also got the I Joy katana with uh, raspberry custard, and I've got the uh, top side and the dead rabbit with the uh, sour apple strawberry. Oh, very nice, very very nice. Mm -hmm. What a TC! What the hell is TC wrote? Mindbleach.com and got a nightbot didn't agree. Sitting in your arse, Roy. 
How's it? How long is it? How long did you type him out for? Five seconds, it said. Yeah. It's just because he typed out mindbleach. It's because he put that mindbleach.com and it took all of his messages out. Yeah. So, so it's only for five seconds anyway. Hiya, Ian Morgan. Hi, Mr. Morgan. No, Hi, Ian. You missed, the, you missed the start of the show. Ian's saying hello to you as well. Hello, Ian. <laughs> I think I think oh, he did. Wait. Yeah, he just caught. He just caught it. That was quite funny. He caught it. <laughs> so, crazy so boy. Well, tonight I'm on. So I've got the twister. If you can see, there's the camera. Yeah, you can see. And I've got in that I've got some of the boys NYCC. Yeah, I treated myself to a bottle of that too. Okay. So good. Actually, I'm trying to get the flavour to come through because I just had um, some blue sours through that. So mm. I'm waiting on the cheesecake coming through. And then I have, I'm kind of organised tonight. Oh, so I've got my little gladden with some wick liquor. Wick liquor? Yeah, it is wick liquor contra, which is quite nice. Nice. And, and then I have. Oh my god, what? What was Roy wearing a few minutes ago? I need a psychology of our age in my thirty second of age. My rage with my drop dead. Yay. With apple sours. Nice. Sour shoppers. And I might put some refreshers bar into this beauty. Boop. That's worse than anything I was wearing. That colour is worse than anything I was wearing. It really is not. No, it is not. <laughs> so, and that's kind of it. I'm actually quite boring because I've left my mod downstairs. Amateur. Uh, yeah, I was just going to. Uh, really? Hang on. Oh my god, no. Hang on. Stop it. No. No, no, no. So I've got my rage um, that Bonnie absolutely loves and tried to steal off me at Rude Boy today. Before vaping at um, 74.1. <laughs> oh, you get the spiky one. Um, in it, I've got some of the. What is it? Is it. Um, oh, where did you leave Surgeon that Green? No. Dr. Green? No. Um, that lovely colour green. What is he? I what think, is it you call him? I think he's a teacher. Oh, he's a teacher green. Some of that, um, <laughs> strawberry Professor stuff. Green. Some of that strawberry stuff thingy me jiggy that he has, oh, and it's good. well behaved. That's it. Strawberry gummy is the well behaved strawberry gummy mm -hmm. by Doctor Green. Mm -hmm. Or is it Professor Pink? Oh, who knows anymore? I don't know. Um, so that's Your in tip. that. <laughs> but very shortly. It's going to have some of that in it. Ooh. Pop clouds, the liquid, and it's nice. um, blue raz candy. That's nice. Um, I've got my Valadin. Mm -hmm. In the Valadin, I've got some blueberry duffin. Oh, and I did have the, I did have my FP on top of the. Hi, Andy. Avenger. Be right back immediately you went to bed. Yeah. Wee man. Um, but yeah, so that's for, for me. Bree, what are you vaping? The usual <coughs> Idle Adventure with the Troll V2 and the Red Presso Nebula with the Orchid V4. Awesome. Where's your good paint job? No, 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 no. This one here. No Rex two thirds. The one. With the green original on top. Bonnie's trying to steal that too. I know. Am I fuck? Absolutely disgraceful. So as you can probably as you probably guess by the start of the show, folks, um He's in his weird mood today. We actually got we actually got let out of the asylum today, all four of us. And we had a wee bit of a vape lounge NI outing. Um, half of us off went off to Titanic Shankle, so that Michelle could see the uh, the delights in there, and we got loads of juice. I mean, she had loads of juice. Yeah, but they've got a mad sale on at the minute. Yeah, 
So we went to see it. Um, folks, if he's, anybody's looking juice, like it's like you can get 240, 240 mils of juice for 20 quid. Yeah, I got these two today. So it's a really good. Oh, Andy Summerfield wants to see Bruise Mug. Nope. Is that his face or the cup? His cup. <laughs> no, you really don't. It's um, not that bad. But, and then we also went down to Roof Boy in Dublin Road as well, and their delights, and had a lovely cup of coffee down in there. Um, and his name, is it? No, it's not Trev. Philip. Philip. Um, down in down in Rootboy, Dublin Road. We had a few pictures. Michelle finally got to meet Brew in person. Oh, that's so sad. God, a bunch of giants all these. Well, we are the land of giants. So, so says They're the so hobbit. tiny. I was like, oh my god. My favourite picture is that one where I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I've already been traumatised once in the show anymore. Oh, I need professional help. Yeah. Here. <laughs> When Chris build when Chris when Empire dressed up a woman, everybody craves over Christina, and yet I dress up as Harley, and everybody's going, "I need nine bleach." Pack of pussies. Bizarre. I yeah, but Chris has big... Chris has got Chris has got that glorious beard. Oh, yeah. I think oh, I think I look rather fetch and and. I thought you said the beard in my days. <laughs> I'm honestly not kidding. Ian Morgan's got pancake cookie butter by Pancake Man. Reload it. Anyone tried it, got it yesterday. I didn't like it. Didn't like it again, sorry. But I just think um, they've tried to do too much with it. And it's quite, it's quite buttery. To be honest, I found any of the Pancake Man stuff to be quite bland. Very understated or something. Yeah. It was not what you would expect it to be. That wasn't, in my opinion, it wasn't anywhere near good enough for the sort of money they were charging no, for it. The butter, it's quite a buttery vape. You know, like buttery, butter vapes are quite bland. Not a buttery biscuit, but just a buttery vape. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I got from it. Mm. Roy, I thought I looked rather fetching. That's only true in one aspect. I was fetching a fuck <laughs> Mm, that nice. cheesecake, the cheesecake one. Oh, he stole it now. Bunny, the cheesecake in that twister. Is it good? Oh my god, it's heaven. It's so nice. He stole it. He stole it now. Well, I've got the, the cheesecake to go on this. So. It's really got the. I'll leave it for you. Yeah, don't give it all away now. Because if you do that, there'd be no point watching the review. <sighs> oh, you mean to say I have to leave some for you to review? Mm-hmm. I'll have to get it in quick. <laughs> you might. That's what she said! <laughs> the review. <laughs> well. Yeah. But it's, I have to say, the hospitality today from both Titanic Vapor and Root Boy was exceptional. Very welcoming. Always is. Um, Jeremy Always was up is. in the Jeremy was up in the Titanic store. I, meant, mm -hmm. I was going we were because we did run behind time, we were going to try and get across to Raven Hill and see Jamie, but we just didn't get time. Um, picked up a Wasp Nano RT. Oh, lucky Gip. How you like it, Ian? How you liking it, Ian? Is it good? Um, and then as so I went down to Philip, and the hospitality for him was fantastic as well. Good vape chat and everything else on there. Bonnie got a tutorial on how to to wick her um. The Kylan. I'm going to actually try his method as well, even though normally I don't get any issues with the Kylan when I do it. Just don't have no flavour coming through it from the moment, no matter what cause I stick into it. Yeah. Um, no, I have no problem with the flavour. It's just, you know, getting the hurt to stop leaking. That's the problem I have with it. Village. Stop getting it so excited then. Village, when you mentioned Expo, are you going for. Oh, excuse me. Are you going for all three days? Hopefully you say yes and not just a Friday. Yeah, I want to meet everyone. But, um... We must be running up against somebody tonight. You can use that. Too. It's great, we are TA only 2, two mil, but... Yeah, that's... I, that's TPD stuff. And the quicker we get to Europe, because Brussels is thinking of tightening up the TPD regulations, by the way. 
Oh. Yeah, even further. I assume it was an uh, article it was earlier on today. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Billy, where are you, which hotel are you in? Prem. You're in the Prem? Oh, that's good. So I'll get to meet him. Have a good chin wag with him in person. And I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to buy him a pint. Because... He's one of the stalwarts of the show. He's been he's been here since the start. He's here nearly mm -hmm. every week. Um, yeah. Even though he bounces in and out between us and some other shows, he was still he's still there to participate. So I, I, I'm going to buy him a pint. Yeah, Stavs is on at the same time as us. Yeah, they finish at nine, though, don't they? Hopefully. Well, that's okay. It's just the regulars got traumatized then by me. <laughs> and the Harley Quinn. I'm going to have to try and up the game next. That was quite funny. You need to, you know, you need to boob enhancement next time, though. I couldn't. I tried putting socks in, even a pair, even a pair of my, even a, a pair of my ankle socks, trainer socks, couldn't fit in. It was that tight round my chest. I can wow. Just picture you. Get in. <laughs> You're gonna have to buy a village. That's what she said. Dr. Roy, who drinks like a fish. Well, that's all right, because Village can then share my bottle of vanilla vodka out, outside the, out in the, the grass. I'm going to be like the only sober person, aren't I? I'm a drunk. Maybe I might go out a drunk. That's okay. kind of you, Roy, and don't worry, I'm bringing plenty of booze with me too. Oh yeah, Village turns up with, like, with a portable off license in his suitcase, apparently. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm, going to, I'm getting a bottle of vanilla vodka. As you do. Yeah. Has drive, to be done, I suppose. Because after after the drive on Friday, I'm going to need a bloody big vodka. Or ten. Depends. Oh, Depends if you can put up with my karaoke or not. All the way <laughs> down in six hours. No, I should be asleep. But whatever. Michelle's the, Michelle's the person that's been sent to me for the last week. Oh, I won't sleep in the car. I don't sleep in the car. I won't sleep in the car. I won't sleep in the car. And then she gets into the car yesterday and goes, Do you know what? I could sleep in the car. I probably could sleep in that car. It's quite comfy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I'll be doing an all nighter pretty much anyway, because I'm not going to sleep and waking up at two o'clock in the morning. I won't be able to. Honestly, oh, I won't say too much. I'll I be, can't sleep then. I'll you have to make sure everybody else I'll is up. A big old jump. <laughs> but I think I've got the Thursday off work, so we're going to get packed up on the Thursday, get the car packed up, and everything else, and everything into the car that needs to be into the car, and then just leave to wash stuff for the morning. Go and have a shower and that. Get up at two o'clock, have a shower, have a cup of coffee. Get on the go up onto the boat, off the boat at Kern Ryan, drive up to I think go an hour go an hour and a bit to the first McDonald's on the motorway and get breakfast. Big fat coffee. I wasn't drunk, Billy. The only reason you thought I was because you hadn't focused you couldn't focus. <laughs> the only time you thought you're really drunk. I was disappointed. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was disappointed that Chris didn't read out my question on the UK date show. My question was to Mark TDP. Okay. Which you was? Know when you're, you know when you're. Um, do you know when you're really drunk, or you know when you're really drunk because you don't know the difference between um, Coke and Bacardi? Or Bacardi <laughs> and JD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> was that me buzzing? You buzzing? Ian Morgan says, Roy, you need to get a caravan. I have no tow bar in the car. Oh, yeah, a caravan would have been ideal. Because we're sleeping in the car and when we get back up, when I drive back from Birmingham on the, the Sunday, I'm not going to be a theater either. We're staying to the day after the expo and then driving back up. Yeah, mm. but they're as late as possible, really. Because so. the later I get up to, to four for the less time I have to sleep in the car. Mm. I'm not impressed by this on this this well behaved juice. Well behaved juice. I'm not. I You're weird. I like it. I think it, it's scratchy enough. I love it. But I, think it I really, really do it's love it. It's only strawberry that I could really taste. Roy is very quiet. It's because you're like sitting back, I think. Is that any better now? I bought my expo ticket last week. 
Well, I still haven't heard back yet from Jay, but... I don't think anybody has. Uh, it was not Jay that was sending them out, sure, it was Philip. Philip, sorry, Philip. This is... Shishkin, we weren't going to say anything. <laughs> That's better. Cheers, Mr. Nash. At least, I can, at least I can count on one person. And Gail was two people. Because okay. Gail mentioned it to start with, and then Mr. Nash is looking after me. John, go get them. John, go get yeah. them. I think I found my new favourite juice. Cheesecake. It's that is amazing. So no. It is. Nani is making me feel all. Making me feel. Oh, Christy Berg, Lady in Red. Lady in Red. She's in the Red Room. What do you expect, Sinner? I'm saying all of them. She's just, Murder. Murder. She's, she's just off the rack. I know, I'm still sore. <laughs> you broke me. What can I say? I grabbed an early bird ticket the day after Expo. Expo. I enjoyed it that much. Oh, nice. Um. Village, if October was your first, um, May's Expo isn't as good as October's. <laughs> Senator. Senator, you missed it. Oh my god, that would have given them so much feel tonight, Saint and Senator. Saint, he's not in yet. Where's Saint? <laughs> I my don't kids know. are awesome. Just had a full roast and beef and Yorkshire dinner put in front of me. Oh, Gail, that's lovely. Nice one, Gail. That's so nice. Well, what did you have put in front of you? Oh, I had some... Gammon? <laughs> Gammon that was cooked in Coca-Cola. It was so good. And roasties and, and mash and veg. And veg. And a coffee. And... It was delicious. Andy took me vape shopping on Mother's Day. It's all good. With the best company. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very good. Though. The best company. I actually really enjoyed today. It was really yeah, good. fun. It's good fun. Yeah. Although, I think um, your kids broke him. Yeah, I think they did. <laughs> Here, all I can he say... He was having so much fun. That was so funny. <laughs> All I can say, Bonnie, is people in China must be really small. This t-shirt that I'm wearing is XXL. Yeah. yeah, the Chinese people are really small. Can I fit in well over there? Mm -hmm. Triple, triple XL, and it's actually fitting me in the shoulders. It's just a wee bit loose around the top, like, but it fits me in the shoulder. I think triple XL in China is like a medium here in the UK. I'll move over. I was always told um, if you're ordering clothes from China, go two sizes larger than what you normally wear. So if you wear a large, get a double X. So. I sent my mother a text. Son of the year award me. Oh, sent her. <laughs> yeah, Roy in China, they call you Godzilla. Oh, Andy. Michelle, I've been to Hong Kong and I think you'd be short, still be short. <laughs> Oh god. Andy, you're not wrong, mate. She's tiny. I felt really tiny today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> really. I was like For those who haven't seen the pictures on Vape oh. Lounge NI's Facebook page, because I know Mr. Nash hasn't. There's Michelle standing between me and Brie. I know, a bunch <laughs> of bullies. <laughs> Yeah, that's so funny. And this one will give it a little bit more perspective. The child in this picture is six. Yep. <laughs> that's better. My little wee teeny dot. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. She wore an itsy bitsy teeny oh, weeny jeans and <laughs> she, oh, I felt really tiny today. Roy's oh she yeah she did. <laughs> yep. I don't care. They're all it just works. a bunch of giants, John. They are. 
boots. Oh my god. <laughs> Even Bunny with her big boots. I was like, oh. Yeah, so Bunny knows <laughs> Bunny knows that Michelle's only two foot and awesome, but yet she has still proceeded to wear seven inch bloody platforms. I'm just not wearing seven inch platforms. I may have to see Six and a half inch, okay? I was not. Do you know T C that wouldn't be hard nowadays? I swear the generations are just like giants now. Like there's primary ones that are like my height almost. It's terrible. See we're well fed over here. It's all them times. And it's the rain. Mm hmm And the shit oh, yeah. we're always in. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm always in the shit under the depth fairies. Speak for yourself. Roses grow in shit. Nah. Well. And I'm the rose. Last time he thinks he's a rose. They were the new footwear line by Tom Cruise. <laughs> God, Tom Cruise. There's, there's the thought police after you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to you out. Promises, with promises. My, with my baton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clunk. Promises, promises. Roy or Rose? Yep, that's why I'm called Roy. Royal Rose. Okay. Oh, it's warm in here. So, Bonnie, what? what did you think of today's outing? Yeah, fun. I was nagging for the time I walked back up to here, though, but it was good fun. You ain't done an hour's walk in the day. More. No, Ian, she has no, mo no, no new mods today. She has just got a shed load of new juice. I was almost going to buy that VX200. Okay, but so I just look at those pictures. The one with Bonnie Michelle is funny. I knew Michelle was small, but didn't realise that a hub, that a hobbit... A hobbit was taller. <laughs> yeah. Do you know they have bigger feet as well, so, yeah. yeah a rose, sense. a rose, the only thing you have in common with a rose is eventually you'll be deflowered with somebody. Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> At least the difference between that. At least someone would deflower me. I don't have to use chloroform to deflower them. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, you don't have to ask them if the rag smells funny first. Hello, Empire of Hi, Chris. Hi Hello, Chris, how, how are you? Long right. Oh Chris, 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 Chris. Where would it go? No, I don't know. Where it's Oh yes! I forgot about that. It's the pug. Oh, the rude boy pug. <laughs> yeah, the rude boy pug. I did try to steal them for you, Chris. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, yeah. Do you know that, that counter was actually too high? <laughs> That's Michelle standing up straight at the counter, folks. <laughs> and totally failing it. Oh, that one kind of went, yeah. Nope. I had to go on my tippy toes to try and make them. <laughs> But she was, she was standing at the counter, at least that counter she can see over and see the juices, they're all just at that level. Yeah, Titanic. all the club one comes up to like here. Yeah, the Titanic <laughs> as well, and she couldn't see the bottom, she had to actually go through under the under the counter and actually go in I under know, the I thing like, hey. to actually see the juices like on the bottom shelf, to, so cool. to see how much juice they had at it. <laughs> Not for the oh, first time the white stuff with the skill in that video. Oh, sinner. You have no idea. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh uh. Nope. Why am I getting an echo? He's dying. <laughs> <laughs> Die quietly, please. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. No, they did not. Thank you very much. Bunny, the guy who's got I feel bad. I've not been asked for that. Jammy sword. 
And I also got. Nay. And I also got. What's that one? It's Grandma's Lemonade. Tastes like Rib Boy Boss. Ooh. What's that one? Nice. It's um, custard cream. Like the. Yeah. Mm. I don't think that tastes like. Roy's feeling sorry. <laughs> Did they ask Michelle Friday? No, I think because they're because she was with me, they let her go. Because I was with an adult, you see. She was supervised. <laughs> yeah, Kira. <Was> it? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's lemonade usually found in her bedpan. Oh my God, Senator! Seriously, you didn't go there? No, I didn't. Because unlike you and Senator, I don't think that way. That is delicious. Well, not all the time, anyway. Just most of the time. Yeah. It's your fault. You're a bad influence. At least that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. So there. But well, that was a good one until I met you. Mm -hmm. So the one thing I can definitely say, um, you know, after today again, because it's been a while since I've been up around Titanic and Rootboy and everything else, it's amazing what a a, a stocked shop. And why we you know why we have to support the stuff the shops and everything else because the amount of people can buy juices online and everything else, but how much of a waste of my money is it? if you buy a juice thinking oh it's going to be fantastic you get it home, and the first thing you taste it you go whoop. Mm -hmm. At least you know a shop you can, you know any shop that we went to opened their bottles and let you taste yeah. it. And or at least you can try it first. Yeah. And it always says something when you go in the staff, you go into the shops, is vaping stuff that's stole, sold in the shops. Hi, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. I've just got back from a meeting for Mother's Day. My mum and sister have finally accepted M and realised she ain't going anywhere, ever. A <gasps> card full of cash will do that, I guess. Oh, oh that's amazing. No, it's not amazing. Well, I'm hoping the last bit was a bit of a joke on that empire. And but I'm I'm really happy that the um, Emily's in laws have accepted her and everything else. Because the end of the yeah, day, it's about time. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. The in laws have to accept what makes their son or daughter happy. Mm -hmm. Um, and that to me is one of the main things, and it's one of the things that gets lost in Mother's Day with it being sort of over. What's the word I'm looking for? Financialized. Yeah. Um, you know, Mother's Day is there to give you know, to give the mothers a break and everything else. But the mothers have to remember, and normally it's the mothers are the hardest ones to actually convince. It's who makes their if someone makes their child happy. Yeah, that's what's important. And that's what's important. It's mm -hmm. like my daughters, the the bloke my daughters with. It's. I'm not too particularly fond of the guy, or you know, have much too many likes for him. But he makes Gemma happy. Yeah. And to me, if he's good, if he's good to her and the kids, and he makes her happy, that's all that counts. That's what counts to me, and I accept him for for that for that reason and that reason only. I don't like the guy. I probably never will like the guy, but I accept him because he makes Gemma happy. Yeah. Um, and to me, that's that's the big thing that. We, you know, as parents, and me as a parent, has to remember that it's not about what makes me happy. Make what would what makes me happy is the kids being happy, and if the yeah. kids are happy, then I'm, I'm. When the kids are happy, what am I like? When you, yeah, when your kids are happy, what am I like? Amazing, love, so happy. Well, that's what counts. As long as the kids are alright, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. TC, stop me trying to get people into Zoom calls away from the show. <laughs> they used to think I only. They used to think I should only ever be with one person. It doesn't work that way. They can see that we're still together, and she's go not going anywhere, and she's around for good, and they accept it. Oh, nice. Good. Uh, I'm. I'm really glad to hear that, Chris. That's great news. No, oh, shut up, TC. Shush. Had your wished. Had yeah, your uh, TC. <laughs> I'm going to speak now. Stop trying to poach our viewers. Thank you. I have reasons for it. 
Um, but you know, as much as yes, in today's society, yes, we all should be you know try to be with one person, be with that one person for the rest of our life. But unfortunately, some sometimes we get together with somebody when we're younger. We think it's the real thing. Things happen. People move on. We get older. Priorities change. People's minds change. And people's feelings change too. It's yeah, but sometimes we even think people's feelings change. Just sometimes, sometimes we can run with things with our heart, but then your head interferes with you and goes, "No, there's just something not right here." So then that stops and everything goes down another road. But then other times things can lead to things being better. Yeah. And things can you 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 mature slightly and everything else, and. I hope Chris doesn't. Chris, hope you don't think I'm speaking out of place here. Hi, Tetley. My <laughs> feelings for you, Tetley, never change, lover boy. But with Chris and Ems, um, Bonnie go. Bonnie will back me up here. When we arrived at um, Empire Next Vape Co me. last May, and Ems came into the shop. Now I don't know if Bonnie's seen it or not, but I saw Chris's face light up. I know Ems worked there and everything else, but Chris's Chris's face lit up and his personality changed ever so slightly. He became more free, should I say? And at that stage, they were nothing more than friends. They were work colleagues. At the expo, you could see that there was a chemistry there, but yet they still were nothing. So I was the I wasn't the least bit surprised when a few months down the line that they said that they were going to try and be. Try, try and see where things would go, hmm. and he actually do, it, 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 that It's a strange. Sometimes when you look at it, if you looked at it from a distance, they're, you would they're think so well so suited. Strange. But you think it was so you, you wouldn't visit if you had a, a whole room of people. You probably wouldn't just pick Chris and put him with them. But when you see them together, then you go, yeah, that's so spot on. Mm -hmm. It's like you and Bro. He's, he's are so well suited together. Like Michelle doesn't Michelle doesn't know you didn't has never met Brew before today. Mm -hmm. And Bru or Michelle said on the way down that you two are absolutely perfect together. Mm -hmm. So there's Kristen. Mm -hmm. She's an absolute world, that's why she makes me better in every way possible. And I can say the same about this but this young lady sitting beside me. As red as that. I haven't killed him yet, so there you go. Yeah, things are going well. Yeah, yeah, he still lives <laughs> for now. Oh, worse. You can see yeah. the change on Cam as a viewer. It was chalk and cheese difference. Yeah. Yeah, but mm -hmm. you, you know, with Chris doing the shows pre prior to that expo, he wasn't his zany self at times. Mm -hmm. There was, there was, there was bits of it Moments. coming through bits of it coming through but the zaniness that sort of you could tell from me doing all <laughs> I think <laughs> doing that all over Expo and that was to me that was the zany Chris and that was the Chris that I had got to see on camera and the, the his persona and then it did change it went downhill for a while and but it was good to get him back but now he's come back and he's taken that level of zaniness from here to up here, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how much monster he's drunk. <laughs> but that's what you know. Sometimes when you watch, sometimes you watch some shows, and they're very, very serious, and they're very too serious. You know, and everything else. I don't think a lot. Personally, I don't think a lot of the online vape community tunes into a show that's really serious. No, because they're the ones that you kind of just watch if you need to get to sleep most of the time. But when, I, when I've watched chat, okay, our chat, yeah. our chat's not buzzing along at 60 million miles per hour. But the chat's, it's not staying on track. It's not going off in its own wee private chat and the casters don't see what's going on. They never sort of read the chat and then they sort of realise that people in chat are having their own little side conversation because they're not really listening to what's going on on screen. It's because everybody's sort of coming together and they're spread across all over the country and they come in and have a chat with people and everything else and they get to know the online personas of people some just mm -hmm. choose to sit in front of a camera like 
and then others choose to set off the side of cameras and sort of throw in a comment every two seconds or <laughs> or some just like to get crush cameras nowadays <laughs> yeah oh you some don't see what happens like before to I traumatise from the background as well occasionally they would ever do a thing like that oh I wonder you don't get to you don't get to see what happens here beforehand Michelle has a frying pan going I'm coming on camera or else what else <laughs> she threatens the violence he's not scared because it's just a teeny tiny frying pan after all you know and the can't reach the top of his head. It's, it's yeah. one of the frying pans out of the doll's house. Yeah, yeah but did cute. you not hear what Darren said? She can't reach the top of your head. Oh. Unless you're sitting down, down obviously. She whacks me in the ankles first of all. When I reach down to scratch the little fly that's landed on the ankles, she hits me over Oh, the bang. <laughs> With you now. Then I wonder what the fly's doing land on my head. <laughs> so... It's yeah, you know, it's one of those. Oh, Chris, hope Ems is feeling better. Hope her migraine has subsided. You're still listening to that, is I haven't bored you to sleep. I think I bored <laughs> I think I bored the rest of the cast to sleep. I personally like shows that can be serious but also can be light hearted, but most of all I like shows that make make you feel included. Yeah, exactly, Village. That's she's a hundred percent now, thanks. Awesome. But really, that's the one thing that the Bunny and I said right from the very start when we started Vape Line Gen I, is that we would always, always make sure chat is included in anything that we do or anything that we say. Um, try not to miss any comments out is in chat, everything else, because at the end of the day, there's no point us sitting here rambling. Well, I ramble, according to TC, I never shut up. <laughs> You have your moments. That's only because nobody else is talking, so you know, rather than just sit here and look at the camera and go... Well, you were talking, I wasn't going to interrupt you. No, we're listening, politely. Yeah. Okay. I think it also depends on what way you actually structure your show. Because whenever I was doing Nines in the Clouds with Steve Dave, we structured it first to help him get over his initial... Shyness camera shyness, camera. yeah. So it gave him something to talk about. But it's also giving people the news. Mm. Whereas if you're going in for a show that it's basically just sit there, talk to whoever you're with, but anything to be it related, you need to keep an eye on chat and interact with chat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, chat's where we take the direction from. We do have some wee things, but I don't like, I don't personally do the news and what's new mods coming up unless somebody in chat will say you know have we heard about or seen about and maybe we'll look it up and then and talk about it whatever mm -hmm. but because you've got on monday night you've got um bunny brew and vh is he gaming or reviews on vh reviews? on twitch is vh gaming and on youtube is vh reviews VH reviews. You've their show on a Monday night, so you know they do all the, the latest news and everything else. Plus, you normally normally on a Friday night, apart from Friday night past, you've got the bitches and Gail normally has kept up with all the news things and put all the news articles into the into the bitches group. So that's why I don't mm -hmm. think on a Sunday on a Sunday evening that we need to really sit and go through. You know, yeah, I think that's what we've always done. Though we've always sort of kept it light hearted. You know, it's a shits and more of a shits and giggles type of show. We do have some I also think you have to else. evolve your shows as well because, you know, obviously I left Irons in the Clouds because of the whole stuff that was going on behind the scenes. Mm. And, you know, coming back to it, yes, we brought you in, but it hasn't really been a whole big let's do a lot of news. It's a few bits here. Have a laugh. We brought on TC last week. Mm. We'll try and bring others in every so often. Try and build up Steve Dave's channel as well as other people's channels as well. Yeah. I thought it was funny on I thought it was funny on Monday night that every time he started talking about a mod he didn't put it on screen. He had it must have on his own screen but he didn't have it put onto the cast screen. And it stopped. Was, no. I was like, I want to see it. I want the shinies. And you put <laughs> one up and it was like you just seen the top of the mod you seen the top of it, you seen the drip tip in the tank, you didn't see the rest of the mod. And he's talking about the mod and how nice it was and everything else, and all we could see was the top of the top of the. I was like biting. I was like, "Please, I want to see it. I want." To see it. <laughs> and it's like one of those where where chat was saying we can't see it, but I don't think Steve just really cottoned on to what was happening. 
Well, the stage was quite distracted the other night now, wasn't it? Well, here's the thing. The one thing I found whenever I was doing the whole posting is because you have to do so much. You're trying to keep an eye on what you're doing, chat, and who you're talking to. <laughs> it is quite a lot to do. Whereas if you're just sitting there talking, you don't have to do much. He's, keep an eye on chat. He's on the beautiful green mod. I'm not. His favourite colour. Isn't it nice to hold in the handle? Like, just colour aside. I'm not on the green mod. Really? Is that why um, I can see a bit of green sticking out the bottom of it? No, you can see black sticking out the bottom of it. No. That's the black. way you moved it, the way That's you black. moved, the way, no, you were not sitting with it like that. You had it tilted slightly and I was able to see green at the bottom of it. So then, uh, then, uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful. I think it's lovely. Do you know what? Even when we went to Titanic, they had that one displayed, the green one. I was like, see, they know, have the best colours. Do you, do you know displayed. why they had the green one displayed? Because <laughs> it's the best Because they sold it of all the other colours and they're just trying to get rid of the green. <laughs> That's why. I like the green one, though. I don't. The, the, blue nice. is, the blue is glorious in it and the red is absolutely lovely in it, too. I want that the... green is hot. Yeah, Gail, Gail has the red one. See, Gail's got sense. Mm -hmm. Jules has got the green one. Yeah, well, then that, that tells it all. Jules has got no sense. Jules is awesome, leave her alone. Jules is great, but she's no sense. She's as mad as a hatter. I'm telling her you said that. I'm telling her. Beautiful What colour is it, Michelle? It's green. It's wicked green. I think it's green. It's green. <laughs> it's green. It's as Chris green. as Chris would say, it's green. Oh, Village got the gold one. Village, that's 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 perfectly that's perfectly fine, Village. Keeping it classy. That is perfectly fine. Gold is gold is okay, but green, get back, get it back. <laughs> green Life. is green. milk, chicken, green gravy, sweet. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. I can't do accents, so I'm not even gonna try. I know. I just wanted to hear you say green. Green is green. That's why I say green. Okay. Okay, okay the new. Okay, the new. Laddie. <laughs> I don't even have an accent anymore. It's like kind of all over the place. You get left. But yeah. So, what's anybody else? Right. Village. What are you vaping on? You see the length of this now. I'll give you. I'll come back in ten minutes when you finish typing. <laughs> Let's see what mods are in the village tonight. It's within the gold one. Are you the only vapor in the village? <laughs> it's a village full of vapes. Come yeah. on. Let's give him like half an hour just to type it. Is Bunny on. okay? Well, she's just away to the toilet. Anything green? You've made her cry because you said the green one was bad. It's so naughty. The only thing green about my. It hurt her feelings. Oh, Ian, totally agree, mate. The only thing it should be green is the grass or the leaves and the trees. Or this beautiful, beautiful. Turn no. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Now that's beautiful. I don't mind rainbow. Rainbow's awesome. No, that's monstrosity. I don't do green. Green. Mandarin is so good. I can say that when Bonnie's not here. <laughs> mandarin. And tell her whenever she gets back. What strawberry mandarin? Mhm. Mm I'm dripping it because I haven't got very much left, and it lasts longer when I drip it. <laughs> I've got the hiccups. I apologise. I need to give you a wee flag. Get rid of them. Give me a wee what? A wee flag. Right. It's a, called a flag, right? Right. Flag. You got a flag, flag, and flag. A flag flies from a flag flies from the windies. Yeah, but if you say I'm going to give you a flag, it means I'm going to give you a fright. So. Anybody in chat agree with that? Does anybody in chat call giving somebody a fright a flag? Sure. We'll see if anybody's listening. I don't think anybody is listening. Need to give you a wee flag. You're right. She's not liquid. 
the strawberry mandarin. You alright? Yeah. Sure. Sure, sure. Yeah. You're all serious. Yeah. Okay. What's the matter to the beer? Is there anywhere local stocks at mandarin? Um, Ian, unfortunately not, mate. No, not. Ian, because if there was, I would have all bought. <laughs> See, I told you villagers was going to take about 10 minutes to type it. It took five minutes to type up what he's, what he's vaping on. Oh my goodness. Mjolnir on the Hex, Mjolnir on the Q Mini, Fatality on the Red G Class, Dog on the Black and Gold G Class, Rebirth on the Mini Cam V2, Kadama, Peacemaker on the Type 21, and the Kaku on the Pomper. What's the Bloody hell. I think he means Haku. Sorry. <laughs> not so much. Wow. Not much then, village. So not much. Village. How many hands have you got? I actually had my stuff together tonight. Normally, I'm just like I'm vaping on whatever you see me vaping on throughout the show. That's I don't know. And a mouse. Because I don't even vape more. Money, you look <laughs> severely pissed off. I'm in pain. Well, I didn't want to get into that. It's because the kids beat her up today. Yeah. No. That's what you get for doing. No, the kids, the kids weren't the problem. It's old injuries, Michelle. Darn. What have you been doing to her? You've been What's after show. <laughs> I told you, Bonnie, you shouldn't go on the rag before you come on the cast. How <laughs> many times have I told you that? Being in the red room of pain. Where's Gail gone? I need her to back me up on that flag. Well, you two hands, but you change, change things about. You could say that. And, like, how did I guess, well... A long time just to, to type out what you're vaping on, but so I take it when you go to the, the expo, you're bringing three suitcases with your village one for your clothes, one for your vape gear you're bringing with you, and then one for the vape gear you're taking home with you. <laughs> yeah, probably. Do you know what? I just realized I've still got some dodo left in my, in my crown floor. It's the last little drip. Um, this is nearly extinct. Yes, the dodo was nearly extinct, peeps. <laughs> it's so good, though. I need Lenny, to get more I, of that. Village, can I get put on your will just for your vape gear? I'm already <laughs> there, Ian. Sorry. Yeah, join the club. <laughs> um, I'm going to see where I can buy that. I'm going to, I'm going to need to buy more mandarin. Also, mandarin. Oh, mandarin. Play your little tangerine. I know, that's that thing. <laughs> You're thinking of a tambourine. Oh wait, so I am. <laughs> oh, there's Saint. There's Saint. Oh my God, Saint! You missed Hi, the Saint. start of the show. Hey, you yes, Saint. To watch it. It's hilarious. You would have had so much feel for tonight. <laughs> I keep on mixing him up because Sinner had that image on his Facebook profile. <gasps> oh, he did. Mm -hmm. So every time I see Sandy with a, and I'm like, all I can think of is uh, Sinner, straight off. Out of stock. Get it from America, it's $21.95. For how much, Mel, though? Yeah, and then you've got shipping costs on top of that. Stupid expensive. Just need to go away for a holiday. <laughs> Stop it. Hopefully they're at Expo this year. They're not. Oh! Hopefully somebody that stocks it is. Folks, if you want to know what the what the actual what Equilibrium who makes um strawberry mandarin, what they actually say about it. It is a juicy mouthful of fresh strawberries, succulent mango and tangerine for that tangy tongue finish. And it is all that. What was that stuff I tried today that had mango in it, but it just did not taste like it had mango in it? I can't remember what Oh, it was that like. was one of the Root Boy ones. Yeah, it was so good. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, it was the mango and blood orange. Yeah, because I don't like mango, but oh my goodness, that was yum. Mm. That stuff. Yeah, that was good, that one. Mm. But yeah, that uh, strawberry cheesecake was just, just had to be purchased. It is so good in that oh. twister kit. Oh, funny. Okay, I've just mm. found. What have you just found? Brew, get making. <laughs> oh. Strawberry margarine clone. It's got a high rating on it. Wait, yeah, screenshot that, guys, if you want to get a recipe. <laughs> What's the comments on it? 
No comments. Oh. Came out amazing. Check and vape. Although it does get better after a few days. It's only got three things in it. It's only got sweet mango, sweet strawberry, and sweet tangerine. Sometimes that's all you need. But it's got quite high millage of them. For This is 100 mil. No? Uh, what's the percentage? 5% percent. Percent mango, 9% strawberry, 6% tangerine. Green is a low concentrate. A hell of a lot. Mm -hmm. So what's that? 14... 20%? Yeah, that's a 20% mix that's going to be. That's quite high, that. for a In a 100ml mm. bottle, that's going to be quite strong. Yeah, that's quite high, that mix. Yeah. Well, they've got that as what? Well. That's 90... 120ml. They're, they're 120ml, they're making that out at. Mm. I try that. I think that's one of the biggest oh, mistakes yeah. a lot of people that are mixing make is they put far too much concentrate in. Especially certain flavors like chocolate, you put too much in, it just turns absolute shape. Mm. Well, it that depends on the chocolate. Ever have a, but... You ever have a chocolate flavor that tastes really, really powdery? powdery? That's because there's too the much more. chocolate in it. The more. Um, you're looking at Belfast, Ian. See mm -hmm. our closest brew boy shop is, um, yeah, is Belfast. And your yeah, you should rude boy, rude boy don't have one in Lisburn, do no, they? No, they don't. And for the you Scottish folks, um, I think Aaron's next venture is into Edinburgh. So that now that's typical, Michelle. He moves into Edinburgh after you move out. I know, right? That's just. I know. Just can't get the minions these days, can you? I know. I was like, I was gutted. Absolutely good. It's like, I was like, Glasgow has tons of vape shops and I've got nothing. I'm just like, Edinburgh is not that great for vape shops. Yeah, that's the thing. Talking about vape shops in Glasgow, was anybody at Sully's Meat yesterday? How did it go? Because unfortunately I wasn't able to make it this time, so. Me neither. No. This is the second one. I managed to make at least one of them before, yeah. before I moved here, so I was happy at that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't make it across to yesterday's one. I was hoping I would have been able to get across, but no, nah, it just wasn't meant to be this time. So hopefully, if he has another one before the end of the year, I'll maybe get over for the next one. Hopefully, <gasps> we can have we can make a little girl or a little girls trip, bunny. Oh yeah, yeah. Leave the guys sounds like a plan. Leave the guys at home. Let's just jump on the boat. Yeah, the boys can stay at home babysitting. Yeah. Oh my god. Sounds like a really good plan. America yeah. doesn't do three mil juices. What do you mean? Who, who doesn't? Three milligrams. Either zero mil, two mil, two mg, four point five, or six mg. That's a bit odd. A lot of companies do though. I'm just trying. Some to of the companies it. actually go up in point five, so you get like one point five, three, two point. I don't know about two point five, but I've heard of the one point fives. I will send you sir. It was yeah. good, but it was the same as I've seen Gail. Oh, Gail didn't make it either. No, uh, well, you know yourself, Gail wasn't on when it was on Friday night and she wasn't well. Well, that carried on into yesterday, unfortunately. So, oh, Gail didn't make it down to the meet yesterday. Wasn't the same as you, Bonnie, Bonnie and Gail, but it was good. Sinny says it was good. Did you pick up any bargains, Sinny? Mm. I seriously think. I did seriously think of going this close to Expo, it just wouldn't be possible, especially when I have to make a weekend of it. Yeah. It's a long way to go. Um, Village, if you're going to make a weekend of something, hopefully it won't be too long until there's a, a vape meet over here. Either at um, Bentra Vapes or up at Rib Boy or Titanic. I did put the notion into Philip's head, I think, for a, one at Rib Boy Dublin Road. Mm hmm. Because yeah, that's one thing that we've been missing for a while now is the meets here in Northern Ireland. Yeah, it used to be loads of them. There were sometimes maybe three or four all on the one night. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, it used to be a good crack. 
you know, it's it's that side of the community side of things is it's starting to lag again here for a while. There was you no know, was picking up. There was one you know you could have went to one every other month. Um, but Philly's coming across to Belfast for a for a weekend. Hmm. So yeah, that'd be good fun. I've only ever been to that one vape meet. Like I've never really been to any But Paul's got another wee babby on the go, so. But I think, considering the last vape meet. He just sort of went to me. Here, you run it. <laughs> nice. Because Marty went home. And I ended up... I wasn't allowed to enter the, any of the competitions. But the thing was, I couldn't enter the competitions then. All the, the Clyde comps and everything else, I was not allowed to enter them because I was how they judge them. Mm-hmm. And Bonnie won one. Nice. Go, Bonnie. <laughs> and it was nothing nothing to do with me judging it because I videoed every single one of them and then whenever we thought... Yeah, went to the vote. Close, we actually then played back the videos to judge it so is that just like how far the cloud goes it was how far and the density of the cloud is you know because some people got little pencil things that went yeah no i was up against all these like big beardy weirdies with their <laughs> mech mods and all the rest of it and i'm standing there with a mini can v2 and a gun oh man and, you saw <gasps> and these these boys are in with their you know great big like stacked mech mods with these yeah. super low builds and stuff in them and you just went for it not to write yeah the these like these boys with massive lungs and stuff like that but the, um there was one guy we were expecting him to do really well because he had been blown by fat clouds all night until it came to time to do the choked. pump and then he then he choked oh, that's nice. yep. i can't say i've ever done anything like that it's good fun it's a vape meet i suppose is what you make it yourself um mm. and the people that are with you so uh, it's you know, if you want to, if you want it to be boring and quiet and everything else, then it will be. But if you want to make it a bit of a fun, have a laugh, have a joke, a bit of crack, a few bud, bunny. <laughs> Give us another bud. Give us another bud. I was not like that. I had my own, remember? <laughs> they were drunk. It was give us another bud. <laughs> Oh, you didn't buy anything, Sainty? Oh. Sainty didn't go to buy. Sainty went for the social aspect. Yeah, he's, he's anti-social when it comes into chats and doesn't come on camera. Unless it's the bitches. Bitches what? See, we're special, but, you know. No, you're special. I saw you like in that window today. It was not me like in the window. It was him. No, it was you. No, I was, was supervising. You. He doesn't have long red hair. You've not seen his wife. I left the book behind. I think since I think since Cinti missed it. <laughs> yeah, go on, do it. Do it again, just for Cindy. And Tetley. Yeah, Tetley missed it as well. I'm glitch time. Nobody has better hair than Christina, just saying. Mm. Yeah. He said that. Chris, just saying. Did Chris see this? I don't know. Did you see it, Empire? Fateful, Chris. Do you want to call me if you see? Why with his amazing hairdo? <laughs> <laughs> Brace yourselves. Hold on to the nearest thing. You're gonna get blown away. Not by yeah, cloud. Yeah, brace yourselves. Not yeah. by cloud. By yeah, I don't even know what. Something. I don't know what it is either. Just go back for making drink. Mm. This is going to be interesting. Okay, put it this way, Chris. You look better than I did in it. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like I was like, oh my god, I'm like jealous. You can just hear him fidgeting in the background. <laughs> yeah. And everybody's in suspense or suspenders. <laughs> well, it's the weekend after all. Exactly. Oh, God. You just don't know what Chris is up to in his persona. <laughs> yeah, so when's Christina coming back on the bitches, Chris? You'll have to uh, check in with her and let us know. It's nearly showtime, folks. <laughs> Viewers of a nervous disposition, please look away now. Mm -hmm. 
You know, be warned. <laughs> Oh my god. Letter. <laughs> oh my what? God. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> So funny, it's more funnier this time. <laughs> I can only imagine what you're saying right now. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow! A bit wonky. One of them's bigger than the other. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, fix your boobs. <laughs> That's you. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, put it away, man. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. There are no words there. Yeah. There's no, there no are words. no words. <laughs> Wow. Um, you sit that rack, you know. <laughs> You're right, it's even funny. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god. Wow. I wish I looked good in that costume. I still don't anymore. <laughs> Where do you shop when you fashion <laughs> <laughs> Gail says don't play with your tits. Oh Gail's back. Right, Gail. See when right, see when we say we're gonna give someone a fright, what do we say? We say, I'll give you a wee flag, right? Because he was like, that's not what you say. I'm having the balls. Oh my god. <laughs> totally, I just went for a piss and this happened. <laughs> Put your Push tits you. up then fix your hair. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that one's up higher now. <laughs> oh my god. See, the way I'm looking at him here, the right one's higher than the left one. But yeah, he seems to have got. Yeah, that. that oh my. That's like so wrong. Oh my goodness. They're on top of my actual nipples, so therefore there's, don't be telling me they're wide. Yeah, there's one looking at you and one looking for you. Yeah. That's well normal. they're on top of my actual <laughs> nipples, so they can't be that they can't be that far out. They're not. They... They're wide. Give me a finger. <laughs> Feel under there. What's there? Alright, fair enough. They're wide. Nipple is there. And then nipple is there. So they're right on top of my nipples. So I don't care if they're going that way. You have white boobs. Seriously, that's disturbing. Oh, why have I got a... Your balls. I got a balls. <laughs> I had a ball stuck under me. That was why it was weird, because I had a ball stuck under my thing. Yeah, that's better. Under your oxter. Wow. The big stuff for? He just needs some nice I lippy must. on now. I must. I must improve my bust. I must. Oh my I must. lord. I must improve my Oh my god. It could be a lot worse. That is Hi. so funny. It could be singing Baby Shark right now. Shut up. <laughs> baby Shark. Do, oh do, no. Do, 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 baby Shark. Do, 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 do. I'm going to kill that shark. Oh. <laughs> you mind? They totally saw. <laughs> didn't see nothing. Yeah, you, you did. How did you, you see that one? You, you did that one, Cam. No. Yes. When you when you lend back, really? we got a right on a knife full of. God. 
Looks like you breastfed it nose. No, take it over. Oh it? God Almighty! Oh, there it is. Oh my Lord! Wow! Roy, you need to get a leash for them puppies. Mm. <laughs> you can't be letting them roam in the streets. Yeah, no, I know it was like a muzzle anyway. <laughs> uh, John, no, I'm not really. I'm in a bit of pain right now, but nothing I can't cope with. Look, my cuffs match my collar. <laughs> 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 I don't think the drapes match the curtains, though. <laughs> no, my cup, my cup, my cup. Michelle, match. drapes and curtains are the same thing, darling. Oh shit! Well, so they are. Yeah. Well, what else am I meant to see? The drapes don't match the, the rug. The carpet. Okay. The rug. There you go. The carpet. The rug. No, but my collar matches. The collar matches my cuffs. Oh my god! Could you imagine? So why are you opening up your new Instagram account to do all the clothes dressed up like that? I'm just good on my own. You gonna do what now? Yeah, I can do merch. He's gonna be he's gonna become a glamorous Instagram model. Oh my god, you need to put a picture up. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> See he's heartbroken. Who? I don't know. See who is heartbroken. He's Harley Quinn heartbreaker. Well, Tetley says he so would, but then he already is. You know, you two have had a bit of a romance going on for well over a year now. It depends on that. Do you know what? You actually look so good in tights. <laughs> like he actually, his legs are like just made for tights. Look, they really are. Um, listen, you've not seen Christina in a pair of stockings. <laughs> See, the, I said the black and white better. The purple, not so much. I don't know. It all matches. <laughs> now you just need a pair of stilettos to go with that outfit. Oh yeah, he needs to kill her heads. I've sold seven good? Team Christina <laughs> t-shirts. <laughs> seven. <laughs> I sold seven. Seven Christina t shirts. T shirts and vests. And vests? Nice. Oh my god, that's a that's all kind of <laughs> Ian says Roy dare you put an Instagram pack up with a muff juice. Oh my god, with a muff juice. You fucking nice too. Middle button. Oh wow, he's actually he's actually gonna do it! Oh my god! You should, Michelle. In all honesty, darling, you should have put lipstick on him first. I should have. Eh? Wait, I can actually get some. <laughs> wow! Oh wow! No, I'm actually blocking me. My boobies in that one. That's not good. Oh wait, I'll do it. I'll take another one. Wait, yeah, you need a this. side profile shot, maybe. Wait a minute. We're getting no professional here. Oh, mm. hang on. What are you putting on me? Lipstick. What? Lipstick. Better than Pandora Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tetley says put some slap on and do it again. I've lost my blusher palette, damn it. Well, I'm a blusher now. I'll just have to slap my cheeks. Because I don't have my blusher. No filter. Oh, natural. Hashtag no filter. And right, no, <laughs> I'm not writing that. that. <laughs> no. What are you not writing? Slap. And we'll give live update next week, folks, to how many um, likes or oh, or how many likes or how many um, unfollowers I get. <laughs> That's lip gloss. Oh, 
kind of, but that's all I've got. Although, to be fair, I did do that Instagram account with a piss tape. <laughs> one photo, and I've already had like 70 odd followers on it. <laughs> wow. This is this is giving oh, nice. Gail the heebie jeebies. <laughs> Hang on, let me. Right, give me a pout. Hang on, don't put it on too neat, because Harley's isn't neat. It is, it is. Heart rate is. Oh my Shit. god, I cannot do this. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat it! Jeez, I don't think it tastes very nice. <laughs> Oops. Jeez, your lips are so beautifully shaped. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay, do not let me do your makeup again. <laughs> I need to go makeup class. Do you want me to do it next time? Yeah. Oh shit. I think we're giving them the more full and effect lips now. Oh my goodness, it's like going up your nose and everything. One way to shut me up, isn't it? Oh my goodness! Look at that. Wow. <laughs> isn't that just gorgeous? Gorgeous. I don't know how well that lipstick comes off, by the way. <laughs> I guess he's going to work tomorrow with um, lip gloss on. Oh, lovely. Right. That's too funny. Oh shoot, what have I done? I don't know what I just did there. Strike a pose, Vogue. There's the boobies. <laughs> I just can't believe he's fucking doing that. Someone here. Oops, what are we back? Alright, I got it. Hmm? Oh, you weren't looking, I don't think. No. Oh, wait, hey now. Go again. Go again. Be closer. I'm a bit of 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 a Anyone getting a semi, okay, no. <laughs> oh, Tetley. Oh, jeez. The scary thing is, I have been told, I look good in drag. It was started as a laugh and has turned into such more. Chris, you, know you should take that. You should take that to X for you. Chris, you are just so good. You are so good at pulling it off, and especially that one. Do it standing on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> You've got 60 likes on that one there. It's because I'm awesome. I know that was a clip. Yes, she is. I'm actually quite proud of that shot. Short, but awesome. Right, here we go. I look good in the teacher pose. Oh my god, I totally thought you were putting it on my page. I was like, what? <laughs> He's about to break Instagram now. That one. You, oh yeah, that one. You do realise if this does well, you're going to have to do more of those. That picture, alright? Yep. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, slap a filter on it. Let's see. Oh no. No. I actually like that one. We need a brighter one. Uh, what's the next one? Oh, that one. That's no. a bit bright, actually. That one. What's the next one? Nah, right, the other one. That one. The one that you just grabbed. Where's the next one? That one. That. Yeah, that one. Oh, for fuck's sake, I come back again. It's turning to Halloween again. <laughs> Sick again. 
I'm going to dress up as a wicked witch this year and, and rock right. my top. Right, so what can we write? Harley. Harley Quinn, eat your heart out. Mm. Harley meets. Come and get it, boys. Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Harley meets sticky. Glazed. Um. Glazed. Moth. At. Was it cloud brew? I wonder if that's the right cloud brew. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it might be a bit of a bad influence. Who are you? <laughs> no. Hashtag. I think Harley Quinn would totally rock this mod now. See? Exactly. Be it famous. <laughs> Bunny gone again? Yeah. It's sure right. As she's with pain in the back right now. You should give her a good massage. I will do after the show. Do you know something? Sandy hasn't even commented. He had to, Andy. How <coughs> else is he going to post it on Instagram? <laughs> Harley Queen? Yeah, Harley Queen, not Harley Quinn. Harley Queen. Thanks, Andy. Queen. Harley Queen at your service. <laughs> Forgot about the show. Yeah, she does. She needs to go and rest. I put it on for you. I think Cindy was too busy just laughing his head off. I think I had the hair too high. I had the hair too high. I think so. Yeah. Why didn't nobody tell me my hair was too high? Rebecca's reviews from now on. <laughs> Same as too busy with a box of tissues. <laughs> oh, you seen it the first time, but you didn't even let us know you were. Oh, saintly. I thought you were late in. There we go. Now post it on Instagram. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep we checking that and see how many. <laughs> you look like a confused dominant. <laughs> How many, I, how many have I got before I start this? I've 805 followers before I start. Oh God. You're going to be down to two, I think. <sighs> right, shall we call this a wee bit early tonight? Yeah. yeah we well, if you just want to go, we'll, we'll hang about here for a bit anyway. If you want to go, Brie, and look after Bunny. Okay. I just remember once I end the call, your screen will go up again. Right, I'll just get onto this thingy. I'm, and then I need to do that. And where it is? Yep, yeah, I'm all ready. Oh, I'm ready. Wish okay. Bonnie all the best from us. You get well soon, okay. Bonnie. Big hugs and kisses. Right. Bye. Bye. Sorry about that, folks. Bonnie isn't feeling the best, um, so she's had to go off, and Bree's gone off to look at her. It's not fair on, um, not fair on them. Yeah, I was here from the start, but I was lurking. Uh, 
Oh, it's just stained it a wee bit then. Have a good one, guys. I'm away to check on my bitch. Yeah, I don't think she'll be on Gailey anyway on DC for a bit. Probably she's, she, if she starts, goes that way, she'll want, to, she'll want to lie down. But, yeah. Right, I'm leaving you in charge for two minutes till I get changed. Oh, God. Read the chat. Talk to the people. Tell them how your day went. Tell them what you thought of the shops. Good night, Gailey. Thanks for coming in as well. And, yeah. So what did you think of the shops? I thought the shops were really good today. What did you like about them? What did you dislike about them? I don't actually know. Hold on. What am I doing here? I think it's fine. Ooh. Look at this. She's actually getting into moving things around the screen and everything. I'm pressing buttons and it's not breaking. That's better. The cast is still rolling, so she's yeah. not doing too bad a job. Yeah, so today, for Mother's Day, he decided to take me vape shopping. And it was very good. I did not get any hardware today, although I was, I did have my eye on the Ogvape VX200, but that's just for another time, I think. But I've got some juice, and it's very good. But yeah, and uh, the guys in the shops are very welcoming, so quite good. <coughs> and I sound like I'm on the radio again. <laughs> you do sound like you're on the radio again. <laughs> she's got such a radio voice that changes whenever she's. Whenever she's talking on the camera. spotlight, yeah, and I'm put on the spotlight. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to have a busy week for reviews this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got a lot coming up. We can only see a less than half your screen. Oh, it's because you've moved the thing. Oh, okay, I did break it. Damn it. Oh, I should have done that on that. There we go. Never mind. Yes. Is that your card? Nope. Nope, card two down is down. Well, she wasn't doing too badly until she's, she's, <laughs> she moved things. I tried. Vape and Irish, this is going to give me nightmares. <laughs> At least you want her to get it. That is so funny. I've actually got a follower from it. Oh my lord. He just review. There you go, John's looking forward to your reviews. John, it's going to be a busy week for reviews. A um, couple of twists in the reviews as well. Um, at different points and times throughout it, which is, which is going to make things interesting to say the least. Just to you know change things up a little bit, but you still get me droning on, um, in the reviews. Feeding out the glorious information, I'll just be there like like that. <laughs> and um, yeah, so go try and put a few hardware reviews out this week. So there's the twister. There's the two Zomos, there's the Nova, there's the Crown. There's quite a bit of hardware. Um, I know some of it's older, but that's new. Do you know what, though? Some people like to look at how some of the older stuff work because they can get the older stuff for a lot cheaper most of the time. So. Look at that. I changed back into me and we lose loads of viewers. That's it. Oh, my goodness. What's, what's the crack? <laughs> what is the crack? I... I change back into normal me and we lose loads. But people have maybe like Simeon Simeon and and Harley outfit. <laughs> In other words, Michelle is going to make you do some reviews. Yes. I've given him loads to that's it. Put him to work, you know. Yeah, she's gonna make me do loads and loads of reviews. But yeah, it's I know I've been lagging in the reviews the reviews as late, um, mainly before Michelle sort of came across, where I was busy just really, really getting to know Michelle and everything else, so I took up my nights. My nights just flew in anyway, and then since Michelle's been here, getting Michelle, getting the, the kids settled in. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now that's sort of getting headspace back together again and getting myself sorted out, um, I'm getting there. 
but what think the one thing that has happened is that I end up getting um, building sort of building a new computer. Put the put the um, bought a new graphics card. Well, not a new one. Um, Sixteen thumbs down. Oh my goodness! I got sixteen thumbs down. Well, that's probably TC in the right? That's just shocking. Sixteen thumbs down. Did you get any thumbs up, John? <laughs> yeah, from John. And hopefully a few others. <laughs> I can't see the thumbs on here. No, I can't see the thumbs on there. Oh. Let me readjust. Can you that? No, not that. Eight thumbs up, sixteen thumbs down. Jesus. Nine. Nine thumbs up. There we go. Here, they're all sums. At the end of the day, they're all sums. Um It's all traffic through the through the, the channel. Yeah. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um it's a bit of a laugh. You know, at the end of the day I take I do take aspects of vaping seriously, but and then we need to have a, a laugh and a joke at times and everything else. And if we can't laugh at ourselves, who else can we laugh at? You know, it's not like I'm going through trolling people and putting, you know, set up a fake account to go and troll people or, or put nasty comments on other people's pages and everything else. You know, I'll do it. If I've got something nasty to say about something or do something to get or if I don't like something, I'll accept it somebody's face. I thought it was quite funny. If I do say so myself. Put it this way, if I can break break bunnies into laughing and her she's in pain. Yep, rightly so, village, rightly so. It all counts with analytics, so jokes on them. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, it was, that was before you put the club on. Yeah. Haters always gonna hate. It's true. And this is this is the one thing about I know I don't know if Chris is still there or not. Um, but since I've put the two last two just reviews, well, not last two just reviews, Chris's juice and the black one. I put those two out. They weren't personally to my taste. liking yeah. and taste. So the the black one, the, it was the black one more than Chris's, I think. But when I put Chris's out, because I didn't gush over it, I gave my honest opinion of what I thought that juice was. There was a few distractors coming from that saying, oh, that juice is, is awesome, this, that, and the other, you know what you're talking about. But when I put the black one out from the Riot Squad, and as soon as it hit Instagram, the thumbs down to that just shot. Yeah. Um, so basically, so basically do a cast in that dress. And Maybe all of it will be good too, though. No, we might need to get some more costumes for you now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's you know I am Marmite you're either going to like me or you're going to dislike me or you just be sat in the middle and scared to try it or you can just go along with it it's okay. you know it's <laughs> I do things sober for a laugh um, if I was drunk you'd never get me doing that never in a month on Sundays but I don't mind I do think I like doing things for a laugh and a joke and God, was it you know Sticking a few clothes on that changes the way you look. It's not going to change the world. It's not going to change me as a person. It's just for a laugh. I thought it was funny. Highly entertaining. <laughs> you know, and the thing about it is... Myself. Yes, there was a couple of ones, like the Gale, um, Andy Summerfield and everyone, you know, said it burns their eyes and it was really horrible and it's going to give them nightmares and everything else. But you said that in chat. And I respect these guys for doing that. But and they said it in a, like a funny context as well, not, yeah, in, a, not, not. In, a, not in a malicious you know, way. Whether it was malicious or not, whether it's given me you know, direct feedback to say yeah, it was bloody shock and I hate that, I'll never do it again type of thing. But they said it. That's the thing, that's the difference is that they actually said it. The ones who go and put thumbs down and then never actually leave you any feedback to say why they put a thumbs down, 
what they ever say. Right, I like the show and review and the crack is always good. John, you know, and that's why I respect you. You know, you go into quite a lot of the shows, you go, you know, you watch, you must do nothing but, you never watch, must never, never watch normal TV because the amount of reviews you actually watch is unbelievable. Not just mine, but, you know, quite a few of the other ones. And, you know, for someone to get a comment like that cheers me up no end. And to get a comment from, any, you know, especially... I'm always there, her Michelle will tell you I'll upload the video the next thing, you know, has John commented yet? Yeah. No point saying anything unless you say it directly. Indeed. Exactly, Andy. And but a thumbs down without saying anything is saying it indirectly. It's not given you know, why come to the show if you're if you're gonna always give it a thumbs down or why even go click on the review if you're always gonna give it a thumbs down. And I always say at the end of at the end of every review and if they haven't heard it and they're still listening there's still ghosting out there leave a comment to why you give it a thumbs down yeah because the feedback is appreciated if he's doing something that it's not to that person's liking then they should say so that he knows what to improve on or yeah. and if, to if four or five people say I don't like you doing this or I don't like you doing that then you know, I can always change the way I do things I do it the way that I'm Comfortable doing I'm it. not actually comfortable doing it half the time. You know, it puts me out. Of my, it does put me out of my comfort zone. Sitting here in front of a camera now it puts me out of my comfort zone. But and now you've just got me to talk to now. Yeah, and I've, I've probably upset TC. Oh. But I don't care. You know, that's me. I am direct. I will say why I have to say. If I don't like somebody doing something, I will say. I'll tell them. You know, like I know me and me and Andy have had. We and me and Andy had a long, long going joke and it did take me slightly longer to cotton on that I've dragged it on far longer than I sh actually should have done but that's been done and dusted and it's put to bed and me and Andy still speak well I hope he still speaks to me still at the show um, but that's the adult way of doing something mm -hmm. and I thought we all had to be adults to vape yes I may have a mentality age of two <laughs> me too but we're all we're all adults at the end of the day, and I can actually take criticism. Not every vape channel is to my taste. I don't expect them to change my liking. I just leave them and find something that does. But you are what you are, Roy. Exactly, well, John. Yeah, and village is very true, but I could dare say now that if you if something wasn't to your taste. You wouldn't keep going back to it and putting a thumbs down without leaving a comment. And they were supposed to be. We're adults in, in our maybe our age sense, but my mentality is not an adult. No. No. I think the only time my adult side of does come out is in my reviews. I do bring, tend to bring me, and I tried to bring my child mentality into it but it doesn't work it doesn't come across that well I think you're the dislikes as soon as the show started yeah I think because totally because we've gone on at 8 o'clock uh, up against Savs is one of the reasons probably why we're getting a lot of dislikes at that you know as soon as the show starts yeah but when we, we moved this show to 8 o'clock Savs hadn't been um, on for a few weeks yeah. And Savs is very temperamental. One week it's on, one week one week it's not. And the reason that's the reason you know it was Bonnie and I moved decided to move it to eight o'clock, and also because now that I've got Michelle and three kids to think about, you know it's no it's not fair on the kids. Me saying to the kids, "Oh, be quiet. We're going to do a show. I'm dragging your mum away. Go go and entertain yourselves on a Sunday afternoon, and especially not going to the summer. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't." I wouldn't expect anybody to do that. And Sabs ended a while ago now. They ended at nine o'clock, yeah. But we're losing them. We're losing viewing figures. It's because Bonnie's not on. Yeah. You're right. I wouldn't. I just see it as a, a bit pick. petty to dislike. Yeah. No, it's great at this time of night. See, John likes this time of night. You know, it's a bit of. You know, as much as I I like the I used to I used to enjoy Sabs, but 
I'm gonna be honest. Since Chris left Savs, it's not the same. Yeah, you know, I thought Chris brought that edgy sense of humor to Savs that has been that's been missed, and to my to my own personal opinion, has greatly missed. And Savs hasn't been the same since since Chris left. But we get to see Chris in, in other aspects and everything else. And the UK vape show. Well, it's a two-hour giggle fest at times. But when they go off on rants or they go off on a, a on a tangent and start getting really serious, then you actually can see their numbers dropping down as well because most people go on to it. But again, then Savs is one of those shows, well, not Savs, UK Vapes is one of those shows where the chat goes that fast that you know, they can't really keep up with the chat, so they just sort of pick and choose bits of chats as it goes along. Um... I actually can't see the point of a thumbs down. And tell me, Miss Vinny from Savs. Who's Savs? Baby, my Vinny. Uh, Baby. Champ, let's go, Champ. Vinny. Oh. Yeah, everybody misses something, but it's, it's just not the same. And they, I do see the point of a thumbs down. Um, but if I was putting a thumbs down on any sh on any show or any review or any video that I come across on YouTube and I watched it if I was putting a thumbs down I'd actually put a comment to what why I put the thumbs down yeah. you know what what I didn't like about it um, because sometimes if anybody there has done reviews or done YouTube videos or things like that you do it in your own bubble and you look at it and you think oh, yeah, it's not too bad well in my case I go yeah I'll do <laughs> Um, but nobody gives you feedback on how to change something it's like there's one of the things that I uh, we allergy or analogy whatever the word it is <laughs> be saying was that um, oh good night John Nash thank you for coming into the show as always you John thanks for amazing. coming in and I hope your health yeah. gets better and, and yeah. Jude look Jude Jude, I'm talking to you now. Look after your granda. Make sure he's good. Look after him well. And be kind to him. Bye, Jude. Night, John. Night, Jude. Night, Jude. Night, John. Um, <laughs> but a guy, a guy who went home to his wife, and she made him this meal one night. And it was near the start of the near the start of the relationship and everything else. And he hated it. He absolutely couldn't. It was really. It, it was his words. It was vile, but because he loved his wife that much, or he loved. It wasn't even his wife at that stage. It was his girlfriend, and he really liked her. And he didn't want to upset her. Better not be my cooking. You're talking about Pete Robinson. Stop what arse licking. Who what? What? Whose arse am I licking, Peter? I'm honest, giving an honest opinion. Um. So the guy came home with his girl. Um. But he hated the meal absolutely hated it but he hated it all because he didn't want to upset her for the next six nights in a row she made him the same meal oh my god could you imagine until he actually got the kahunas to say to her look it's wank I'm you know as much as it's nice I'm not really digging it and she turned around to him and says do you not like it he goes no he says well thank Christ for that because I didn't like it either <laughs> but I made, kept making it because you thought you liked it so you know at the end of the day it's being honest and Pete I have no need to like anybody's arse if I don't like somebody I'll tell them Chris and I have had fallouts before not fallouts but you know dis dis disagreements and I think if I if I liked people's arse then every review I would do would be like this juice is awesome, it's fantastic, it's amazing. But I wouldn't do that. Sainty, let him be. Sainty, let him be. I'm not far up Chris's arse. If I was that far up Chris's arse, his review for his um, custard, for the salted caramel custard, would have been the best review I've ever done type of thing if I was that far up Chris's arse. It wasn't. I was honest, I didn't like it. It's like powdered ambrosia custard, to, not ambrosia, powdered bird's custard to me. So, but that's for his own. That's his own taste. That's my. That's Everyone my taste. Is subjective. So. I'm not far. I'm not up Chris's arse at all. 
there's things Chris do that that I don't agree with. But the difference between it is, I won't sit here on camera and broadcast it. If I've got an issue with something that Chris Chris does, I take it to Chris directly and talk to him like a person. I respect him. There's a difference between that. I respect somebody who's put as much work into making a success of everything that he does. Um, so there's respect. So unless you don't know what respect is, Pete, that's not my fault. You know, you can understand. John, John, let him be. It's fine, mate. I can take it. I'm big enough. I put myself out here and everything else. But at the end of the day, I do need feedback. And I respect Pete for actually having the kahunas to actually say something. It's the first words he's ever said on the show. And I respect him for saying it. So that's why I'm, I'm not banning him or deleting his comments or letting you know, they'll stay there. And yeah, no worries on that. You know, I've also got respect for Titanic. James and Jamie over Titanic Vapor and, and Lisburn Belfast. What was the other show? Oh, it's two in Belfast. I have great respect for those guys. They put the hard work in, they've made a success. Aaron at Rib Boy, I have great respect for him because he's put the hard work in and made a success. Barry and, 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 and Andrew Meesigs. Is that me licking their arse? No. They're just good at what they do. And you appreciate that. I understand. Respect, buddy. But see, Pete, at the end of the day, I don't have many viewers. I don't have many followers. But the one thing I will be always true is true to myself. And in the honesty that I put into that I do put into a review. There may not have many out there. Andy Thomas will tell you I don't do that many reviews that often. Same thing he'll tell you I don't review at all. But I can I take whatever they, they say to me and yeah, I can hope to grow from it. But if somebody does want to watch an honest review, there's plenty of reviewers out there that will gush over every just they get or every company they get, think that they're you know, it's gonna stand them in more stead of getting free samples from them to review or whatever. You know, if nobody wants to give me free reviews, samples, so be it. Like I'm out today and I bought my own juices. And this young lady here buys plenty of juices and stuff as well. <laughs> I can borrow. <laughs> I, can <try laughs> I just have to cooking. remember, I leave them some first. <laughs> I come always like, here, try this, actually. So, and yeah, I probably do talk about Chris quite a lot on this show for a simple reason. Chris comes in. Vic is another one who'll drop in every now and again, and I'll talk about Vic. But there's no point in me sitting here talking about somebody if they're not there to talk about. So if Vic, when if Vic comes in and Vic, you know, which he has done from time to time, I will say things about Vic. Um, good night, John. Take good night care. again, Mister Nash. Mm. My my personal bodyguard. Night, Jude. Night, Jude. Um. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> that John Boy, that Mary Ellen. <laughs> I've never watched every review from one reviewer. Not all products are to my taste. I don't even bother watching it. Exactly, Andy. I'll hold my hands up. See, when I watch reviews, sometimes I skip stuff. That's me, though. <laughs> but there is times I'll watch. I'll watch reviews. I only watch every review from Jay. Is <laughs> oh Tetley. Tetley, there's one problem with that's that's that statement. His reviews are actually quite good, though. Like if are if they I reviews or are they promotions? No, actually, do you know what? Right, because I was um and on about like when I first decided to get a mod that took external batteries, I watched a whole load of reviews from a whole bunch of people and his reviews were really good like I like how he goes through it and you know he's he always like you know tells you if it's good or bad what the faults are what the pros are you know I thought he was yeah he puts them together he has a bit of entertainment in him as well but the informational side of it are good so, like you know same with Vic and I, I watch a lot of Vic's reviews and, yeah he's his boss and Chris's and everyone's just whoever's got that mod tell me I have a newfound respect for, for Jay as much as he is you know, he has come out and said he's a showman and everything else um, I did think he was an arrogant prick for a while 
Um, but I still watched every now and again. I still watched one of his shows. I wasn't one of the ones that went around sort of unsubbing from him after him and Mark had a and and Vic all had a, a fallout and a tip and everything else. Oh, and Chris. But the guy came. The guy came on to that twenty four hour live stream that Chris did. Um, and Mo. And to need that hell of a lot of money. Yeah, he was showing his money and everything else. Just tone it down a bit. No need to big him up all the time. It's embarrassing for you. I'd big anybody up, Pete. That's worth bigging up. Mm. And if anybody, if everybody in the industry put as much work in as Chris did, like for that live stream, for the auction that he did before Christmas, um, things would be different around the vape community. So, as much as Jay's dick, he's a very genuine person for, for the right charity. Oh yeah, definitely. Exactly, Andy. So, you know, and Pete, embarrassing for me? Yeah. I don't, as you've probably seen tonight, I don't care about embarrassing myself. It doesn't bother me. People might take me as a joke. People might take it as a bit of a laugh. This is, this show is, the show and the channel Um, this show and this channel, the channel is, you know, I know tonight we haven't had, we haven't got anybody on guest on with us in the gap, but this show is uh, is designed for a bit of a relaxed atmosphere. Just to wind the week down. All the time. Pete, is this the first time you've been, this is the first time you've been here, so you're talking to Pete. Pete, you've never, have you watched the show many times before? You probably ghosted because it's like, it looks like you, know, you only started chatting in the last sort of 10, 15 minutes. Um, he is honest, Tilly he is, and that's why. I'm just although review him. I don't think he was honest with a the, certain review with yeah. the um, the FP review. I don't think he was honest with that. No, even I although, in saying that, I think his FP was tampered with by a certain hazer that sent him it in the first instance. Do you think? Mm. Because I've seen numerous people open their. Um, FPs for the first time. John Nash, you still here, boy? <laughs> <laughs> I've Bless seen. You. I know you are, Sandy. I know you are. Um, but the FP, I've seen, I've probably seen about thirty or forty FPs opened from brand new. Every single one of them was spotless. Every single one of them had all the spare bits in it. So for Jay to get one that was dirty and had bits missing on it, it must have been tampered with. That's all I can say. The flavor's not coming through so great. What on shows that. have you been watching, Pete? I've never seen Roy Gusher for an interview. I have bigged up Chris. I know, but you do that with any people that help come the in smaller chat channels more. I'm trying to help the small. This is what that's what Vape Lounge NI is for: is to help smaller channels. Anybody that wants to come on here, anytime. Is very more is very welcome, and I say that through every single show. That is, if anybody feels that they want to come on camera, wants to cast, well, they don't even have to have a channel. Um, they're very welcome to come on here to get used to being, you know, casting, used to sitting in front of the camera talking and everything else. And you know, Chris, part of the UK vape show. That's what they do. They take on smaller. They bring on. Some of the smaller ones were less less viewers. I won't say smaller. Some of the maybe the new reviewers was hasn't got as many subscribers, and get them on to try and help them out. So my F U looks great. It just doesn't work properly. Hey, Bell. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> um, Bape Lounge isn't a small channel. It's an itsy bitsy teeny channel. She wore because my channel, Roy's Reviews, is a very small channel, and it's got three hundred odd. It's three hundred and one, two hundred and two subs. We've got a hundred or two hundred twenty seven on Vape Line Gen I. So Vape Line Gen I is a very small, very very small channel, and if you can put that in, into the likes of Chris, who's got what thirteen thousand, Vic's got fifty thousand now, or doesn't he? He's over fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah. Um. And then legs of hay, everything else. Yo, 
it's I set myself up to be on here in front of camera and for people to have pops at me if they want yeah. as long as they're honest pops and Pete and that's why I've said I respect you for what you've said at the end of the day it's it's is what's needed is more people saying what they think like the saint he um, has me on Facebook if he's getting to say to me at times he could he, he can send me a message but we know saint he's 57,000 plus I think Blitzer let the tolerance go after the first couple of batches they don't have you on Roy why help them there's probably only there's probably personal reasons for why I've, I've been not on I'm not helping them you know 99 I would say 95% or 96% of everybody that comes into this chat room has already subscribed to the likes of Chris Vic Mark TVP and Dino I'm not helping them they help me by coming into the channel and me being honest about them if I can't be honest about them um yeah, views are, but technically, um, subs lead to views because then they're getting notified of when it's going out, and I'm quite happy with the number of views I'm getting at the moment. You know, I ninety percent of the time enjoy what I'm doing. I'm getting back into actually really enjoying it more what I'm doing because of this young lady. I'm trying. <laughs> you know, you try just even being there and supporting me, and. if you ever did watch any of my reviews and if you ever did manage to stay awake to the end of it then you would see that I ask on ask at every single end of every video is if somebody's going to drop me a thumbs down leave me a comment to why you give me a thumbs down mm -hmm. and if it's the same people that's going back there every time night again John <laughs> Good night. the longest goodbye <laughs> and Pete, the one person I probably would gush over more than anything is Mr. John Nash. You know, that guy is there more times than not, the first person to watch my video, the first person to put a comment on the video. And I do know because from the stats, he watches the whole video, from the analytics that goes through. So I would gush over John Nash more than anything else because now call him my number one fan, number one subscriber, because that's what he is. Mm. Um, what? Andy, wake up already. Mr. Summerfield. Would you like a coffee? <laughs> I'm not making, sorry. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, no. I love seeing your comments too, John. Uh, as I say, Michelle does time. go, Michelle does put on there. Yeah, I'm, if I'm a gusher, it's only because I'm honest. If I don't like somebody, I'll tell them to their face. Telly, do you really watch Chunk's reviews? <laughs> Chunk does reviews? What, when? I didn't know Chunk does reviews either. I don't know. No, but honestly, does he though? <laughs> oh, I'm being serious. I honestly didn't think Chunk, I didn't know if Chunk did reviews. I know Chunk does his live shows, yeah, didn't know he does it. reviews. But I've already told Chunk why I can't watch his shows. Or I try to watch his shows, but I can't. But I've told that I've told Chunk to his face. So hmm. he doesn't do anything at the moment. Blesses me so. I used to watch a lot of Chunk's live shows just to, you know, because there was no. I enjoy, I enjoy the vaping scene. I um, enjoyed the chat actually in Chunk Show. Like we had a good laugh with all the chat. Tetley was normally in there quite a lot. So. <laughs> it's the chat. I go. I do go into. I go into quite a few shows in chat. Now that Tetley knows who I am, <laughs> <laughs> took you a while. I suppose I've. I've done. I haven't been using my little signature lately though. Let me have that one. Cheesecake. Oh, I got the cheesecake. What's this one? I did. I lived in Chunk's chat. But that's because he did it late at night when there was nothing else on and I wasn't quite ready to go to bed because I was like, no, I'm not tired. 
So I was like, oh, Chunk's gone. But again, I came in mainly for the chat because, oh, and the music. I quite enjoyed his little background music as well. I come in and listen to the music while I'm doing whatever. I should have background music on. Mm. I could play KTG in the Cosmos. You could in the background. Just like This is not copyrighted. Just oh. like really dull now. Getting smoky in here again. Foggy. It's getting foggy in here. What's so in here? It's got um, a strawberry. It's getting the strawberries vaping out of it and it's got the got that in it. I can't really taste it. I can. I can't get a taste as well, I taste the bone straight. But um But that's, that's actually quite interesting. Pete's Pete Sparks thoughts, because I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I've big Chris up. I'm trying to think if I've big Chris up more than I should have done, but. I was even a Patreon to Chunk at one point. <laughs> oh, I was. Okay. By a friend. Um. But, uh, yeah. Chad has. I think people have fallen asleep with the keyboard. But we've got to the two over the two hour mark now, so we need Bunny back to help us through this difficult time. Mm. Now I hope she's getting plenty of rest though just now. And I hope Rudy's really looking after her. Oh, he will be. He will be. If he's not, I'd go and break his legs. That would be good. I really can't taste that. <laughs> and he's falling asleep with the keyboard. <laughs> Mr. Summerfield. I'm sorry. I'm still new in front of the camera. So, Mr. Summerfield, <laughs> what mouth to lung are you on this evening anyway? Is that a curiosity? I have to go and do the ironing shortly. Oh, I've got him trained. Got you trained. Don't worry. I'm terrible at ironing. You want to see it? <laughs> oh, dear. And what do you think of the new backdrop? Was it any better than it was previously? I know, is there anybody there? I'm really not tasting that. It must be the wind. And Andy, judging by the letters that you have hit, how big's your head? It must be quite big, he's like rolling it. <laughs> You went from the K, the K and the U, and the O. See, it's all in there. Look, it's going to be titchy head. Come on, McLeod, one RTAs. And tobaccos for MTLs. Backdrop is good, but empty though. Yeah, everybody's buggered off. No, he's on about the backdrop. Huh? You changed the backdrop? <gasps> oh, village. <laughs> used to be the old fashioned lounge. You need to get Village on the Sunday Vape Lounge at some time. Yes, Something. Village, you need to come on. I need to I need to meet you before Expo so I know who to look out for. And don't tell me you're one of them six foot tall people too. Jeez. Bet he is. He's got a magnificent beard. Oh yes, I like that. Don't grow one, you won't see. <laughs> oh, I can wear I can, I can wear <laughs> Harley Quinn gear but I don't have get my beard. I don't think it's a beard, honestly. Like I'm just saying. I had to keep the Harley Quinn gear close by because she wants me to put it on again after the show. Oh. <laughs> I might have to let you see me in it as well. Ooh. <laughs> no. Minus the wagon. Full <laughs> fit. Six foot one? Oh my lord. Like, why is everyone such giants? Like, honestly, I felt well tiny today. I can't oh, imagine so myself at Expo. Is that much smaller or smaller than me oh my god so about the same height as Brew then uh, he's in between he'd be in between no it'd be me then Brew then John still yours are all fucking giants me and my little teeny tiny height <laughs> 136 centimetres I'm not even a metre and a half it's crazy Because you're a hobbit, everyone's a gent. <laughs> no, it's so scary though, Saint. It really is. 
Jules is not tiny. I've met Jules. She's like giant. <laughs> I might need to buy some stilts, Andy. I think. Yeah. We got any stilts spare lying about? Yeah, just the ones at the end of my legs. <laughs> Cut some off me. Oh, you can just give me piggyback round. There we go. Sorted. I'm so looking forward to Expo. Like this will be my first Expo, so I'm like, I cannot wait. Honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait to meet everybody as well. And I do apologise now, um, for the day for the my rides are on the Friday. If it's nice weather and everybody's sitting outside, um, I'm probably gonna be like a zombie. Because I'll have been driving. For about Travel, hours. Traveling from four o'clock in the well, from three quarter to three in the morning. Until whatever time we arrive there. Right? Whatever time we get down to the expo, down to, to Birmingham. Probably about nine or ten at night, I think. We get down there. Eleven. We'll, we'll probably between ten and eleven, I reckon. Ten, eleven. So, any final words from yourself, Michelle? Um, thank you for putting up with me tonight on the show. <laughs> I am. I think I'm getting better each week. I don't know. I'm trying. You are. <laughs> Better if you look at the camera and talk to the camera. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying. Anyway, uh, no, thank you. Uh, thank you for everyone who's came in. And yeah, it's been lovely to talk to you all again. And for me, i just like to thank Bunny for sticking out while she was in pain. The walk from Bruges into the Belfast City Centre back again has took its toll on her. Yeah. Oh, come on now. I do a lot of driving before every Friday egg. Man up. <laughs> Andy, how many miles? How many how many miles do you do? not going just yet folks I want to find out just how many miles Andy does before he drives up to the, on the Friday on the Friday so So, you're doing 160 from 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 yours to Expo. On that Friday, I'm doing 613 miles. On the Friday, 613 miles. Just take that into consideration. Zero. Like driving, not like the driving. Like sorry about. Yeah. Nah, it's driving. 600 miles. 613 miles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <that's laughs> it's because we're going from here up to my hometown. and then No, from hang on. We have to go from here, from Ballymena to Larn, get the boat across from Larn to Kern Ryan, which is only 25 miles, and then drive from Kern Ryan to Forfar, Forfar to Birmingham. Yeah. Bearing in mind, it's like a, what, three and a half hour journey from Cairn Ryan to Forfar on its own. And then it's about six hour, six and a half hours or so down to Birmingham. It's going to take me 12 hours so. driving. I need a lot of coffee. Yeah, and a lot of pit stops. So there you go, Andy. Man up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to be so knackered. I'm going to be getting out of the car going, oh, my back, my back. Christ over. And I'm going to be like, hello everybody, I'm here.
No, I won't do that. Yeah, because you'll have slept. <laughs> I'll probably sleep in the car, you just see, so. Slept in the car the whole <laughs> way down. Either that or I've got to put up to her singing karaoke the whole way down. Yeah. But thank you to every single person that came into chat tonight. Um, our best wishes goes out to Bunny. Hope she gets better soon. Yeah. I know it's aches and pains that she's got and, and she does suffer from a bad bag at times. She was, her bag was sore earlier on today. Yeah. Um, so much love to every single one of you in chat that joined us this evening and thank you to Michelle for joining me this evening as well thank you and I would have done over 500 miles during the week just to get to work and back after a full day work in between I do 6300 miles to work and back every day 30 30 there 30 back that's sixty times five. That's three hundred. That's three hundred miles. So, we buns, Andy. We buns. So, good night, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you're watching this, this has been the Sunday Vape Lounge from me, Roy's Reviews, um, and from Michelle B, and from Vapor Bunny and Vape and Brew. Good night, lovelies. Mwah. Good night. <laughs>